Oh God, come to my assistance. Lord, make haste to help me. Gloria Patri et Filio et Spiritui Sancto. Sicut erat in principio, et nunc et semper, et in secula seculorum. Amen. Alleluia. O salutaris hostia, que celibandis hostiu, bella premun hostilia, taro bor fer Come to Mount Zion and to the city of the living God. Alleluia. Defend me, O God, and plead my cause against the godless nation from deceitful and cunning men. Rescue me, O God, since you, O God, are my stronghold. Why have you rejected me? Why do I go mourning, oppressed by the foe? O send forth your light and your truth. Let these be my guide. Let them bring me to your holy mountain, to the place where you dwell. And I will come to the altar of God, the God of my joy. My Redeemer, I will thank you on the harp, O God, my God. Why are you cast down, my soul? Why groan within me? Hope in God, I will praise him still, my Savior and my God. Gloria Patri et Filio et Spiritui Sancto, sicut erat in principio, et nunc et semper, et in secula seculorum. Amen. You have come to Mount Zion, and to the city of the living God. Alleluia. Lord, you have preserved my life from destruction. Alleluia. Once I said, in the noontime of life I must depart to the gates of the netherworld I shall be consigned for the rest of my years. I said I shall see the Lord no more in the land of the living. No longer shall I behold my fellow men 
among those who dwell in the world. My dwelling like a shepherd's tent is struck down and borne away from me. You have folded up my life like a weaver who severs the last thread. Day and night you give me over to torment. I cry out until the dawn. Like the lion, he breaks all my bones. Day and night you give me over to torment. Like a swallow, I utter shrill cries. I moan like a dove. My eyes grow weak, gazing heavenward. O、oh、Lord, I am in straits. Be my surety. You have preserved my life. From the pit of destruction, when you cast behind your back all my sins, for it is not the nether world that gives you thanks, nor death that praises you. Neither do those who go down into the pit. Await your kindness. The living, the living, give you thanks, as I do today. Fathers declare to their sons, O、oh、God, your faithfulness. The Lord is our Savior. We shall sing to stringed instruments in the house of the Lord all the days of our life. Gloria patria et filio et spiritui sancto. Sicut erat in principio. Et nunc et semper, et in secula seculorum. Amen. Lord, you have preserved my life from destruction. Alleluia. You have visited the earth and brought life-giving rain. To fill it with plenty, Alleluia. To you our praise is due in Zion, O God. To you we pay our vows. You who hear our prayer. To you. All flesh will come with its burden of sin, too heavy for us our offenses. But you wipe them away. Blessed is he whom you choose and call to dwell in your courts. We are filled with the blessings of your house. Of your holy temple, you keep your pledge with wonders, O God, our Savior, the hope of all the earth and of far distant isles. You uphold the mountains with your strength. You are girded with power. You still the roaring of the seas, the roaring of their waves, and the tumult of the peoples. The ends of the earth stand in awe 
at the sight of your wonders, the lands of sunrise and sunset, you fill with your joy. You who care for the earth, give it water, you fill it with riches. Your river in heaven brims over to provide its grain. And thus you provide for the earth, you drench its furrows, you level it, soften it with showers, you bless its growth. You crown the year with your goodness, abundance flows in your steps, in the pastures of the wilderness it flows. The hills are girded with joy, the meadows covered with flocks, the valleys are decked with wheat, they shout for joy as yes, they sing. Gloria Patri et Filio, et Spiritui Sancto, sigut erat in principio, et nunc et semper, et in secula seculorum. Amen. You have visited the earth and brought life-giving rain, to fill it with plenty, alleluia. God raised Jesus from the dead, and for many days thereafter Jesus appeared to those who had come up with him from Galilee to Jerusalem. These are his witnesses now before the people. We ourselves announce to you the good news, that what God promised our fathers, he has fulfilled for us their children. In raising up Jesus according to what is written in the second psalm, You are my son, this day I have begotten you. The Lord is risen from the tomb. Alleluia, alleluia. The Lord is risen from the tomb. Alleluia, alleluia. He hung upon the cross for us. Alleluia, alleluia. Gloria Patria et Filio et Spiritui Sancto. The Lord is risen from the tomb. Alleluia, alleluia. In a little while, the world will no longer see me, but you will see me. For I live, and you will live. Alleluia. Blessed be the Lord, the God of Israel. He has come to his people and set them free. He has raised up for us a mighty Savior, born of the house of his servant David. Through his holy prophets he promised of old that he would save us from our enemies, from the hands of all who hate us. He promised to show mercy to our fathers and to remember his holy covenant. This was the oath he swore to our father Abraham to set us free from the hands of our enemies, free to worship him without fear, holy and righteous in his sight all the days of our life. You, my child, shall be called the prophet of the Most High, 
For you will go before the Lord to prepare his way, to give his people knowledge of salvation by the forgiveness of their sins. In the tender compassion of our God, the dawn from on high shall break upon us to shine on those who dwell in darkness and the shadow of death and to guide our feet into the way of peace. Gloria Patri et Filio et Spiritui Sancto, sicut erat in principio, et nunc et semper, et in secula seculorum. Amen. In a little while, The world will no longer see me, but you will see me. For I live and you will live. Alleluia. Source of all life, remember the death and resurrection of the Lamb slain on the cross. Listen to his voice as he lives forever, making intercession for us. Now that the old leaven of wickedness and evil is destroyed, may we always feed on the unleavened bread of sincerity and truth. Grant that today we may put aside all friction and jealousy and show greater concern for the needs of others. Send into our hearts the spirit of the gospel that we may walk in the way of your commandments today and forever. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Grant, almighty and merciful God, that we in truth receive a share in the resurrection of Christ your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. May the Lord bless us, protect us from all evil, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen.